Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna talk about the three components that I think are essential to getting better at your instrument. You can get better with one of them or two, but I think the best chance of getting better is if you have all three of these in place. Right before that though, if you've ever practiced some scales, maybe some licks, even outline chord tones, but when you go to improvise, your solos just don't sound great. Well, I have something for you. My completely free masterclass with PDFs included called The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos. In that masterclass, I go through my simple six step voice leading process that will have you playing better solos, more lyrical solos, more melodic solos right away. All you have to do to get that is go to davepollock.com slash free masterclass. I'll also put that link in the description down below. All right, so what are the three C's to getting better at your instrument? Well, they are content, coaching, and community. Let me break that down a little bit for you. So content is basically the easiest one. That's the one we all know. Content is available everywhere. You can go on YouTube and type, how do I play a scale on the saxophone? How do I make a sound on the trumpet? Content is available, but the downside of content is there's no path. There's no progression. You get a video here and a PDF here and a lesson here and this there. And it's it's just all over the place. And yes, the content is out there, but there's that thing called paralysis by analysis. And if you type in, you know, how do I make a good sound on the saxophone? You're gonna get thousands and thousands of videos. There's nothing really curated. There's no path for you. So yes, it's good to have the content. And that's the first level that I'm talking about where you just have information. What do you do with that information though? Well, if you're doing it by yourself, it can be pretty tough. That brings me to the second C, which is coaching. If you have content, which is just information that's available and you don't really know what to do with it, coaching is where someone helps you go through that content and kind of distills it down. There are many different versions of this. And don't think of coaching as just like a sport thing. Coaching can be one-on-one -on -one private lessons with a music teacher. For example, if I give one-on-one -on -one lessons to someone through Zoom, that is coaching. What I'm doing is listening to them play, giving them tips, and giving them content that I think would help them, but curating a specific path for them. It could also be a group setting. Okay, I'm taking six people through a group situation and I'm teaching them things. It could also be an online course. Now, there's not a lot of that interaction with an online course, but the difference between an online course and just content is that content doesn't have any path. There's no beginning or end, it's just all there and you you know, can't really distill it down. An online course kind of takes all of that distills it down to say, hey, if you wanna to get to this end goal and you're here, this path will get you there. I've gotten rid of all the extra things and gotten rid of the noise. And instead of overwhelming you with a million different things, hey, this is the path to get to where you want to be. That's coaching. Now I'm gonna to get to the third C. And this one can actually be the most important one of all. And especially over the last four years, we know how important this is. And that is community. Community is so incredibly important. And especially when we're talking about music, doing it alone can work, but anybody out there that's watching this video, you know that if you're playing in an ensemble or learning in an ensemble situation, or just learning in any type of group situation or interacting with other people, you know it's a much better situation than just you learning by yourself. This is not to say you can't go incredibly far learning by yourself, but once you add that community element, I think you're gonna go even further, and even more importantly, have a good time doing it. The musical pursuit for most people isn't just getting as good as you can with nothing else. It's enjoying the process, maybe doing it for a fun reason. I wanna play concerts because they're fun, or I just enjoy making music and making other people happy with music. Community kind of helps you out with that because you have other people with kind of a shared goal and you can bounce ideas off of them. You can play things for them and they can say, wow, that's great, but I would change this. Oh, that's awesome, I didn't think of that. And you kind of have this shared mindset about certain topics and that's why community is so incredibly powerful. The other thing that's great about being in some type of a community when you're learning an instrument is that you can help people that are not quite as far along as you and you can also get help from people that were in your position. Sometimes talking to a teacher, if they're an expert in their field and they've been playing their instrument for 60 years, that's gonna be you know a big disconnect if you just started your instrument last year. But if you're in a community where that person is curating it and they're also teaching you, but you can talk to other people that were maybe in your shoes last year or two years ago, or they're kind of at the same level as you, it gives you that sense of community and that sense of, oh, it's like a team building thing and we're gonna lift each other up together. Why am I saying all this? Why am I talking about the three C's anyway? 
Well, I see so much stuff online and different ways to learn instruments. And more importantly, I hear from a lot of people that either message me online or I talk to in person about where they are with their musical journey and where they want to be. And they're not sure how to get there. Like I've practiced all the scales. I practiced all these PDFs. I just don't know. And when you really think about it, adding all three of these elements together, you have the content. That's great. Then you have coaching from someone. Oh, that's really good. But then when you put it together with the community aspect, it's just so much better and it kind of ties everything together. And that's when you're really gonna flourish on your instrument. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts. I know it's a quick little video and I'm just kind of talking at you here, but that's really what I feel about learning an instrument. And these three C's are incredibly important. If you made it to this part in the video, thank you so much, really appreciate it. I actually have an online community that's open right now, but if you're watching this video the day it's out, it's only available until midnight Pacific time tonight, March 8th, 2024. So if you're watching it after, you're gonna have to wait until next time the doors are open. But I do have the saxophone success community where I put all three of these elements in place. I have tons of great content every month. I do a lot of personalized coaching with the members every month. And there's an incredibly supportive community of saxophone players in SSC, the saxophone success community. If you wanna check out the information about that, the link to that is in the description down below. You could also just go to davepollock.com slash SSC. Remember though, it's only available until tonight, March 8th at midnight Pacific time. So jump on it now while you can. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.